Hey, good afternoon, Nadia. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, just doing a virtual tour for you um, on our 2018 Toyota Prado sitting here in front of me, the GX, for, for only 61,990 drive away uh, with about 50,000 Ks on there. Look, like I said, just a really good chance for me to take you through the whole car. Uh, this thing is an absolute glamour, but I want to show you in detail anything I can find, chips, scratches, you know, you, you name it, any blemishes I'm going to show you. Um, just a bit of an idea who we are as well. So obviously, you know, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, this is our second location, so it's our two-story showroom there as well. Uh, this is 77 Mulgrave Road. So we've actually got two pre-owned vehicle yards. We've got another one at 230, uh, 231 Mulgrave Road as well. And it's also where our Toyota and Lexus showrooms and uh, spare parts departments are as well. So we're here in beautiful sunny Cairns at the moment. But look, we'll get straight into it. Because it's stinking hot. <laughs> we're gonna start from the very, very front. I'm gonna make my way down and um, Try, like I said, if anything this doesn't show up in the video, please let me know and uh, I'll get some photos through for you instead. But look, pretty damn clean across the front here. Tiny little, no, that just came off with my finger, even better. Disregard. Just come around there, so get that ball out of the way. Looks like a tiny, tiny sort of. Nope, that came off. So did that, even better. We've had some rain here, so uh, a little bit of this is probably just dirt. Most of this is just dirt, yeah. All this is coming off, that's great. Uh, I just want to show you right underneath as well while I'm here. So it was a previously government owned car, so we, we try and do, get uh, quite a few of these as well as private owned cars because they come with really, really good service history and they're obviously looked after a little bit better. So there you go, some tiny little, actually found some, <laughs> so a little tiny chip there and there, but they've already been touched up and I'm still not out, so that's even better. Come around to the front here. This thing is just very, very clean. Again, that's all just coming off of my finger by the look of it. That's awesome. Uh, heaps of tread left on these ones. I just want to show you right up on the inside of there too. So it doesn't look like it's spent a day of its life off-road. You can see right through there. Yeah, this thing is so clean. I just want to show you those rims as well, see if we can see any gutter ash or anything on there. But looking pretty good. And across the bonnet there too. Ooh, that sun is bright. Just trying to see. Nah, it's looking pretty good. Even that. No, that's just coming off as well. Uh, same with the windscreens, so no chips or cracks or anything like that. Extremely clean across there, just on the inside of those as well. But very clean. I'm pretty short, so I'll just open this camera and we'll be able to see up there. back here. Obviously you keep the sentry on those but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, looks like when they've just cleaned the car. So a tiny little sort of mark there. So it feels obviously on the um, on here. I just wanted to show you sort of the lines of the car as well so you see yourself there's no, no dents or anything like that in there. Super clean. Very very clean. Keyless entry on both the front doors here. So there's two little lines there. You can lock and unlock the car with those. Like I've got the keys in my pocket like that, so that's now locked. And then um, if you come back up and open it, you simply just put your fingers in there. And that's going to open it for you. So really handy. Looks like a tiny little sort of mark, a very hairline sort of one there. And just again there. But pretty good otherwise. On there. Okay, super clean down here. Like I said, just want to show you right in as much as we can. It's just been super well looked after. Uh, I'm just going to open up this passenger door here while we're, while we're here. Show you inside here. We'll show you that service history as well. So a tiny little bit of sort of wear just there and there. Give me shadow out of the way so you can actually see that. Obviously your build plates are there for you as well. So genuine Prado mats. As well, we leave all that sort of stuff in there for you. Exceptionally clean, no cracks or chip, anything in the, um, in the dash there too, very clean. So what we'll do, I'll just show you that service history. So all your books, everything are all in here for you too. Um, so like I said, previously a government car. I just won't show you that the owner's page because um, it's got content details on there, but I'll just skip to that service history for you. 
one-handed, sorry. There we go. This is the important stuff. Uh, it's a 2019, 9,000 9, Ks, Skyfleet Toyota, which is great. Yeah, 2019, 16,000 Ks, Skyfleet again. 2020, 24,000 Ks, Toyota. 2020, 34, Toyota. And 2021, 51,000 Manhattan. So really, really good service history. This is only just just been service, so not you again for what's it got up there? Next service till uh, 2022 in April. So really good service history there for you. That's all inside. Um, two keys as well, but we'll show you that in a second when we jump around. Just show you in the back here as well. Obviously, child locks are just there for you. Power windows the whole way around too. Uh, pretty clean as we come through here. Looks like just a little bit of wear on the rubber itself. Um, a bit of armor will probably hide that, but like I said, it's um, it's all about being as transparent as we possibly can for you. Looks like a little bit of um, like sunscreen or something sort of brushed up against it. So like I said, uh, floor mats the whole way around here too. We got the uh, power outlet in the back here too. Accessory plugs are so great for the kids. Obviously the aircon in the back here too. Uh, you got the argument separator in there too with the um, cup holders and that. A little bit of a mark there. So really handy with these seats as well. So you have got two options. You can push that forward to get to that back um, back area there, or you've got this little strap down the bottom that lifts that up. This one now drops down and gives you a much bigger sp a platform. So I'll leave that like that because I'll do the same thing on the other side and show you just how much room you actually get once those are down. So really handy. You obviously got the cage set up here in the back. Um, if this does annoy you and you do want to take it out, it's literally just in there. Try and sit and sit. It's just literally a couple of bolts that hold it in. So it's actually really quite easy to, um, to remove if you do want to use that entire space instead. Uh, but they're quite expensive, those barriers, so we do leave them in there for you. So look, we'll just come around. Again, through the back here. So keyless entry again on there for you. So as long as the keys are in the proximity, you just simply unlock it and lock it. Pretty good across there. Tie down points here in the back. Jack's just in there for you. A little bit of storage in this one for you. Like I said, just those same bolts. Uh, you do have that privacy shade here, so that one comes out, hooks into place, um, gets a bit of sun off the um, anything you've got in the back here. Goes back there. Um, you got the little 220 volt, 100 watt inverter there from factory as well. And again, like I said, tie down points there too. So really handy setup. Obviously the handles in the back. Um, and of course that cargo barrier. So really, really handy setup. I'll just show you in there too. Um, where the jack is because a lot of cars when they come through if they've been fall drying and they've been through red dirt and that that's normally about the best place you can look to um, for telltales and that is just so clean <laughs> clean in there it looks like it's just stepped off the uh, the showroom floor so I'll just quickly close this up trying to do this one handed which I'm not doing very well there we go Good. Um, so all your tools and everything for that jack are just in behind this one that's just an empty storage for if you do need it of course got your lock and unlock to lock that door so if you want to stop it if the kids are um you're trying to unload stuff and you don't want that clothes on you on a hill or anything like that come down here so just show you underneath there oh, it is very clean bumper. so you also get your reverse camera just up under there too that does pop off and that's where the bolt is to be able to take this cover off to uh, get to that spare tire as well Again, just want to show those lines in the car there too. Uh, obviously you've got your blinkers on the mirrors there too. Key the century gain on the driver's side. A couple little sort of marks just there on the um looks like the something's just maybe brushed up against it, but that's probably um yeah, just sort of notice but once you get up close. And again, just a hairline one there too. Just jump in here. Turn the inside of the doors. Again, just a little bit wet there. Otherwise, pretty damn good. Looks like showing you under the mats as well. So, like I said, you just got that same strap here. Lifts that one up. Drops that down. Okay, there's heaps of heaps of storage in here once everything's in place. And again, you've got the three child anchor points across all these seats as well. So, really handy setup. Let's close that back up. 
I'll jump in the uh, in the driver's seat here now. We'll get it fired up. I'm um, sure people like myself, you got the height adjustment just here so you can crank that right up. It's going to lift that seat. Otherwise, you just lower it straight back down. Um, lumbar support's there for you. And of course, this one just adjusts that backrest. Tiny little bit of wear there. It's the driver's seat. It's the most common area for them. Um, like I said, genuine Prado mats the whole way around though. Very tidy underneath there too. Again, a little bit of scuffing just from where people sort of obviously grab and drag their boots, jumping in and out of the car. So we're gonna jump in, get some aircon going, because like I said, it is boiling hot up here. Two genuine keys, uh, obviously the Land Cruiser Prado ones, so with the central locking on both of those for you. Um, the ignition is just over here, so foot on the brake. Push that one, it's just gonna start up. Get some aircon going. Got a little welcome message in there. And there you go, so 51,104 as it sits right now, so. Um, no engine lights or dash lights or anything like that to be concerned about. Uh, like I said, not your game for a service until, until the 7th of uh, April 2022, 61,000 Ks. Um, very, very clean across the dash there by the look of it too. Um, as we come down, I'll just show you sort of, again, a little bit of storage in there. It does come forward for you as well. Um, accessory plugs, USBs, all that sort of stuff there for you. Uh, really good storage for your phones, things like that. Like I said, you do have that reverse camera on the back. As soon as we pop that into reverse, you can see that comes up. Uh, you can actually see the back of the bar there too. So that is the, that is the back of the car um, from that spare wheel. So it gives you a really, really good point of reference to, to what's coming from you. So you shouldn't really have a back end or anything. Uh, genuine handbrake here for you as well. Push that up. You've got your cup holders in there. You've got really good storage in there as well. Uh, second start to turn on, obviously, in second gear. Um, traction control, um, diff locks, and of course your hill descents, as well as your high fall, which is it's permanently in, and to drop it down to low fall. Simply go to neutral, push that in, flick that down, you're gonna hear it engage, and you're gonna see up on the screen, traction control and all your safety systems have now turned off, and you're now in full mode. So that's the stuff for the really hectic fall driving, creek crossings, um, all that sort of stuff. That's the one you wanna be in. Uh, to disengage, you simply, again, put it back in, and you now see everything's turned off. So real easy, real piece of cake. Um, everything up here is obviously touchscreen, nice huge uh, display on these guys. So, sat nav, you can just literally open that straight up, right into it. Uh, go back to your audio, you've got your AM, FM, Bluetooth, the whole works there for you too. Jump into the apps, and that's everything else for you as well. So, your Bluetooth, you can uh, get into your contacts, go back to that navigation, the whole works all from this screen. Air conditioning is all down here for you, fans on that side, temperatures there, and of course, where you want it down the bottom. Um, as we come across up on the steering wheel itself, obviously the wipers are all on the left hand side. Um, the headlights are on the right there. As we jump up onto the steering wheel, cruise controls down the bottom, hasn't changed in years. Let's we turn it on with that one, set and reset with that. Um, safety system, so your lane departure and your, your uh, adaptive cruise control are there for you as well. This one here is going to jump between all your little different um, notifications down the bottom. So your different pages, so your average fuel, um, direction, what's playing on the radio, all that sort of stuff. A couple of personalization settings too. Uh, and your Bluetooth controls and radio options are all here as well. So while you're driving, it's all up here and it's all accessible for while you're driving. You're not trying to fiddle around with that sort of stuff. Um, as we come round, so your mirror controls are all here from you. So you simply adjust it with that little toggle and just flick it to the left or the right side of the car. Uh, you do have a power fold option so you can tuck those in. So great for shopping centers, bush, um, full driving, anything like that where you don't want that uh, mirror being damaged. You can crank that straight back out. Um, automatic headlights on this as well, so you push that one there, they're going to turn on and off. Great for uh, highway driving and long distances and things like that. You can adjust the um, the angle of the headlights too with that little scroll going 0 to 4, um, 0 to 5, sorry. So you can actually adjust the, the angle. So on again, on long roads at night time, you can actually get a little bit more distance. Bonnet release is there, fuel side's there, um, and all your windows and everything. So central locking, everything's all on the driver's door here for you. Makes it real nice and easy. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to jump out and pop that bonnet for you and just give you a quick look under there while it's all running so that beeping is just letting you know that I've got the keys here and the car is still running so it's just a reminder to turn it off uh, all on the struts super nice and easy open one handed so you can see across there this is the sort of cars that we obviously do look for ones that are this clean um, hence the service history they've got plenty of room for a second battery here too so not many cars actually come out with that space anymore they all use it up so plenty of room there you can see yourself, just so very clean. So look guys, that actually concludes the uh, virtual tour on our 2018 Toyota Prado GX sitting here in front of me. Um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you again for your inquiry. Cheers, Nadia.